Hello my friends and welcome to the second part of our five video series about design trends for 2018 that are super easy to recreate. I'm going to show you how. My name is Olivio. I'm a professional designer from Vienna, Austria and let's get started. So today we're going to talk about glitch effects and I'm going to show you some of my favorite ways how to do them. The first thing that we want to do is the famous scan lines from classic screens. So what you're going to do to do that is click down here on live filters and then select half tone filter. And we're going to set it to line. And you can see here with cell size, you can play around with the thickness of the lines. I'm going to set them to six in this case. And then I'm going to set my blend mode to darken and I'm going to reduce the opacity to around 45 but you can play around with that. You should play around with that because this is all about what you want to get as the end result. I think this looks pretty cool. So the next thing I want to show you is the double picture effect or glitch, so to speak. So let's go to our picture, duplicate it, of course. So we have a double picture. And with the move tool, I'm going to use the arrow keys actually to move this over just a little bit, as you can see, like this. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create an adjustment layer with recolor. So I'm going to pull this onto my second image here. That is the double picture. Basically, I'm going to change it to green in this case. And then I am clicking on the picture again and I am setting or changing my blend mode. Let's see, I'm going to set it to difference and you can see this creates a pretty cool effect where you have these double lines everywhere uh, for the hair and such also over the face. And if you want to re if you want to reduce that, you can, of course, use a mask for that. So that's not a problem. Um, let's create a mask layer, pull it onto our picture. And then I'm going to use a brush um, with a like just a round brush. Let's go over here. Basic brush, select a round brush. Uh, set it to a good big size. Hardness, pretty low. Uh, let's 15%, something around that value. And then we're going to set the color to black. There we go. Black color. And now if you paint over, you can see it's removing. Actually, I want to have the brush a little bit bigger. It's removing the effect. It's hiding the effect behind the mask. So I can make it in a way that uh, my face is uh, almost clear of the effect. There we go. And I have it just on the side. So I still have a clear face for the lady and um, still have these crazy effects on the outside. If you want, by the way, you can always go in here. Opacity, reduce the effect a little. You can see maybe this looks better doesn't interfere too much with the picture or the other design elements that you want to introduce into your picture. Okay, let's go on to the next effect. By the way, one thing I want to point out, you have this half tone effect for the scan lines. Always keep it as the top layer um, for your picture, unless you have some design elements where the, the lines shouldn't be in there. But have these lines over all of your glitches because they are from the screen. So whatever is wrong with the VHS tape or whatever is causing the glitch, of course, is not affecting the physical nature of the screen. So this should be on top naturally. So. Let's make a pixel layer down here at pixel layer. Bam, there we go. And the next thing we're going to do is create or use the paintbrush. Switching over here to brushes, I'm going to use drawing brushes and use this one because we have we want to have some rough edges. And I'm going to set the color to pink or violet. Violet, there we go, violet. And make it rather big like this is good and I'm just painting on it as you can see like this. Okay, done. So the next thing we are going to do is we are again using our live filter for um, half tone with the same settings. So set it to line, set the line size to six, set the blend mode to darken or actually we're not going to set it to darken this time. We are going to set it um, to we set it to average. I think average was the right one. Reduce the opacity a little bit. Even more. Oh, I have to pull it onto my, um, let's close this real quick. I have to pull it onto my pixel layer. So it's just affecting this part. Um, okay, there we go. And the next thing that we want to do is click again on our pixel layer, go up here to filters, and then use blur and 
motion blur and keep it at 0% so it's blurring in a straight line. There we go. And you can see, uh, you can play around with how strong it should be. I'm going to set it around 80 in this case. There we go. So it's fading nicely to the outsides. And now comes the magic because you can set this pixel layer to a lot of different blend modes and all of them will give you very different effects of how this is uh, interacting with the image. You can see here screen is making it a little bit blown out and um, overlay is darkening it. So you can have a lot of different ways, especially down here with these like average and color and all these kind of reflect glow, these kind of special filters. Uh, erase is also nice, which makes it white. I would use that if I move the effect to the side uh, of the um, of my canvas like this. So it looks like the picture is kind of fading out here, losing everything, completely breaking down. So this is a pretty nice effect. Um, let's set it to something else though. In this case, saturation is also nice, really interfering with the picture. So you want to have something that looks destructive, that looks like um, it's not meant to be there because like I said, this is about glitches today. Uh, so let's set this to screen and I'm going to use again a mask on this, uh, pull it down here. And using my brush again, setting it back to a normal round brush as before. Or actually, no, let's keep it at a normal round brush. You can play around with different brushes, of course, experiment with that. So that's always a good idea. Uh, let's use color black because we want to hide part of the filter. So, and you can pull this in here. This is actually not um, big enough. Let's make this bigger, make the hardness zero. So this fades a little bit better. There we go. Okay, nice. Let's reduce this a little bit. Whoops, don't want to reduce the mask. I want to reduce the pixels or the pixel layer. So like this is nice. Okay. So as you can see, you can have pretty interesting effects. You can, of course, also stretch this out. Uh, let's keep it like this. Move it over a little bit. Okay, there we go. So this is a nice effect. Now I want to show you another one that is actually imported from the internet because you can find a lot of glitch textures. So actually, I want to reduce this a little bit more. Um, there we go. That's a bit better. Okay. So let's go over here to file and then to place. And I've downloaded a collection. You can see glitch textures. Uh, I found them on DeviantArt. There we go. And I will link them in the video description, of course. So um, let's select one of these effects. I will use this one up here. Uh, as you can see, it's much smaller from the resolution. Doesn't matter because we want to have it dirty and trashy. That's totally okay for this kind of effect. And now again, what you can do is play around uh, with a different kind of blend modes that you want to have. So again, as you can see, you can get a lot of different looks and uh, ways this can play out. Let's set it to color dodge and actually I'm going to push this so it is very small and very wide because I want here to have these kind of where it breaks down, where the picture is breaking down. So that's pretty cool. Um, you can again play with the opacity if you want to have a bit less of that. Uh, let's move this down here too. There we go. Make it a little bit bigger. Um, turn it upside down so it's not exactly the same as the other one. I will move this a little bit over, maybe up down here or ah, let's keep it here. Okay, there we go. Reduce it from the opacity, play around with a different blend mode. Let's see. Uh, so we have more variation in how the picture looks. Okay, perfect. So that's pretty nice. Um, actually, I'm going to move it over all of the width of the picture. There we go. So as you can see, you can create really cool glitch effects with these kind of very easy, very simple to do tricks. Uh, think a little bit about it, uh, how this old technology would work. So a lot of the stuff is working horizontally. So from left to right, uh, because this is how uh, the old screens works, uh, worked. Uh, not too many of the glitch effects are going from up to down. Some do, of course. Um, 
And as you can see, it's super easy to do. Those are some of my favorite effects. You don't have to use all of them. Combine them widely, try out different other things. And yeah, thank you for watching. If you like my videos, maybe subscribe. I do two new tutorials per week. If you want to support me even more, head over to Patreon where you can get my files with all the layers, feedback on your own creations and a lot of other stuff that's really great. Thank you very much. See you in the next episode. Bye.